There are three types of sedimentary rock, which are based on the types of materials that they are formed from. You can see here, we've got clastic rocks made from uh, bits of rocks that have broken off. We've got uh, chemical rocks, which are made from uh, chemical pieces in dissolved in solution that uh, precipitate out. And then we've got uh, biochemical or organic uh, sedimentary rocks, which, um, which are made from uh, old living material. Well, the first kind of uh, sedimentary rock I want to talk about is the clastic rocks. We see those here, made from bits of rocks that have broken off. And those are based on the size of the particles that have uh, been cemented together. We can see that the first several sizes here uh, have been lumped into one group called gravel, uh, which has two kinds, breccia and conglomerates. The first one, breccia, have uh, angular sides often formed in things like landslides where it will break off a, uh, a piece and you'll end up with these sharp points all over the piece. Okay, and then those pieces get cemented together. The second kind, which is called a conglomerate, takes the same sized pieces, but pieces that have been rounded off uh, through weathering uh, often as they tumble down a river or something like that. The edges, the sharp edges get worn off and so you get a conglomerate. Uh, the next kind is we, <coughs> excuse me, as we continue to work down uh, our list here, we see that we have uh, sand is our next size. Um, and so sandstone is what's made from that. So here you can see uh, the pieces of sand that have been cemented together. These are not just squeezed together like you would a snowball, but they've been uh, compressed like a snowball and then cemented with um, some sort of a chemical uh, solidifying them together. Okay, that process, remember, is lithification, which goes through compaction and cementation. Okay, uh, finally, we, or not finally, but next we have the silt, which is our next smallest size. Silt stone, those pieces are too small to see, so it looks pretty smooth. And finally, if we keep working our way down, we get clay, which will give us uh, shale or, or uh, other or, or, uh, other types of uh, a rock, depending on what uh, that's made of. Okay, so then uh, those are our classic rocks that are made from little pieces of rock. Then we get our chemical rocks, which are uh, minerals that are dissolved in the water that then uh, solidify out. Now, of course, that can be used to cement these other ones over here, or it could just create one object like the halite you see in the picture here. Um, there's no rocks being cemented together by this. It's just one big thing that's grown out of that. Okay. And then our final kind are our organic uh, rocks, or is this chart lists biochemical, bio meaning life, organic meaning living. Um, and the example I want to show you of that is chalk. Uh, here we have the White Cliffs of Dover, which are made entirely of uh, entirely of chalk, um, and uh, chalk is uh, coccoliths that are particles from a single-celled algae called coccolithophores that uh, shed those parts of their body. You can think of it like scales. Those scales or coccoliths fall to the bottom of the ocean. They get squeezed together, and you get chalk. All right, so those are our three types of uh, three types of sedimentary rock: uh, clastic, uh, chemical, and organic.